everyone. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to do a much, much requested tutorial from, again, my bestie who has been begging me to do this tutorial forever. It is the Neon Smoke. It was a big hit this summer. I saw it everywhere and I think it's cool enough to drag it all the way into the fall and I'm going to show you how I'm going to incorporate this neon smoke into a Halloween design. So hang out with me and let's do some cool neon smoke. Before I get started, I just wanna give a shout out to my friend and fellow nail tech, Amy Westerman. She's the one who taught me how to create this cool neon smoke design, and I believe in giving credit where credit is due. So Miss Amy, this video is dedicated to you. Love you, girl. I find that the smoke design looks best and pops the most on a black base, so any black base will do. In this case, I've used Fusion Paints Black 101. This is one coat, and I've cured it for two minutes in my hybrid light. Now I'm going to add a matte top coat, and today I'm going to use the Ugly Duckling matte top coat. Okay, so that's cured for two minutes and I've wiped the dispersion layer off of the surface. The reason why I put the matte top coat on is because I'm now going to use my fusion white paints to create a base for the neon pigments to stick to, but I only want the pigments to stick to the white paints that I'm gonna add and not to the black surface anywhere. So that's why the matte top coat is so effective for that. Now I'm gonna use Fusion Paints White 101. Highly pigmented, if you guys haven't had a chance to play with paints, I really suggest picking up even just the white and the black and try them out for yourself. They are phenomenal to work with, I absolutely love them. So what I'm gonna do now is create my smoke pattern. So I'm just using a small detail brush. This is one that I bought just at a local art store here in Kelowna. I'm not an artist at all, so these numbers don't uh, mean much to me, but for anyone who is, maybe this will be helpful for you. So it's just a small detail brush. I'm gonna dip into my white paints, and I'm going to start to create a smoke-like effect on the nail. So it's gonna look pretty messy at first, and you're gonna think, oh my, she's right, she's totally not an artist. <laughs> but when you see what I'm gonna do with it, it'll all make sense. So right now I'm just applying the white paints in sort of a, I'd say like a swirl pattern up, up the nail. It like really, really does not have to be perfect because I'm gonna melt this out in a second and I'll show you why. So I just wanna bring that up to the surf, to the tip here. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to switch to Another brush that I use, again, Amy Westerman. This is why she's my fairy god unicorn. Uh, this is one she gave me. I've used this in other videos before. Whenever I'm melting out my paints, it's so effective. I love this brush. And again, uh, no details on it. I'll try and find out exactly what and where this magical little brush came from, and I will put that information along with Amy's social media information in the description box. So check that out. Watch for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna dip it into some cleanser. I like to keep a little wipe here with cleanser on it as well when I'm working so that I can dab my brush. And I'm literally just using Fusion Cleanser. Um, some people use alcohol. I find the cleanser to be effective, so I don't really like to have more jars and pumps on my desk than I need, so I use the cleanser. And now I'm going to dab into this white paints and I'm going to kind of melt it, and you can see as the alcohol starts to dissipate, it gets a very smoke-like effect. It's so, so simple and so pretty, and this is why I think it looks most, you know, dramatic on black for this reason, because just the smoke alone, I've done nails without the uh, neon pigments in them, just a black smoke nail, and it's so cool, so. This is a neat thing you can do with paints for anyone, like I said, who's never tried them. I think you'd probably be fairly mind blown at how easy the designs are 
and how cool they look. Okay, so I'm just going to let that alcohol evaporate a little bit and then I'm going to flash cure this in my light. We really want to under cure these paints so that the pigments adhere to them nicely. So in my light, I'd say this is going to get about 10 seconds, but depending on the light you're using, you'll have to test this out for yourself. You'll know you've over cured it if your pigments just don't stick to that white. So test that out. But 10 seconds for me seems to be the ticket. Okay, so I flashed that and now I'm going to apply my pigments. So these are pigments, I picked these up at Nail Techniques. So I know that they have them, but lots of companies carry these different pigments. These are cosmetic grade pigments. So a uh, fun little fact, I actually used a combination of these two right here to do a really cool uh, ombre eyebrow. And holy smokes, was it ever fun. So play around with them and See what you might even have in your stash. They are messy though, so right now I'm working on a piece of paper to keep it at bay, the mess. Uh, but I would recommend working over your vent or like over a piece of paper like this. So I'm just gonna use a makeup applicator, just like this, and I'm gonna dip into my pigment. You don't need a lot. These pigments will probably last me through the zombie apocalypse because you just need a little. And you're just pressing it into that paint. Just like this, just lightly press into it. Now I'm gonna do sort of an ombre effect with these. So I'm gonna go from pink into the purple now because you know I like me a good ombre. And I'm just gonna fade those two colors together a little bit. Drag that purple and pink into that join. A little bit more purple. And just pressing it into the white. You don't really want to rub it because you remember that paint isn't fully cured so you don't want to like smudge it too much. And now I'm going to go into the blue. Man, this blue is so pigmented. Love it. And again, pressing, blend out that line a little bit there. A little more blue. Ooh, got a little sneaky pink in there. Actually, that's kind of cool. I might bring a little bit of that pink right at the tip. Sure. Okay, so now I've applied the pigments. What I like to do is pop this back into the light before I wipe anything off and give it a full cure, just to make sure that that white is fully cured. And what I find that does is it kind of sucks the pigment in and locks it into place. So pop it back in your light, two minutes. So that's been fully cured now. I'm going to take just a light fan brush and just get rid of any of the loose pigment that's on there. And it will come off of the black because the black is got that matte surface so it, it doesn't want to stick to that. Now you can finish this in a matte top coat if that's the design style you're going for which looks really cool. But you can also finish it in a shiny so I'm gonna work on another one in these three colors up here so maybe just for comparison I'll do one in matte and one in a shiny top coat so you can see the difference so this has been finished in a matte top coat this is the pink purple and blue pigment that I used for this design and next I'm going to do the design with this series of colors and I will finish that in a shiny top coat so you can check out both. Gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Just love it. finished in a tack free shiny surface. I'm not sure which one I like better. I think I like both. 
I'm going to post a reveal shot for both of them right now. Comment below. Tell me which one you guys like better. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these neon smoke nails. Now I'm going to do some fun Halloween stamping and show you how to pull these two designs right into the fall and Halloween season and not just say goodbye to them because summer's over. Mm -hmm.